In an era where we're all trying to stay healthy and avoid germs, this next statistic is really going to gross you out. A study discovered that each piece of gym equipment has more than one million germs per square inch. That's why Stratus Building Solutions is working hard to keep gyms clean across Tampa Bay. Matthew Liebisch, the Director of Operations at Stratus Building Solutions of Tampa, joins us now with tips to keep people healthy while they're working out. Matthew, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> so I saw that statistic, it completely grossed me out, and I, I'm at the gym all the time. So what are some of the germiest spots at the gym? Uh, the door handles when you first walk into a gym, uh, the equipment itself, and the bathrooms, uh, locker doors, um, water fountains, all of the, those common touch points that we just don't think about. And you know, we're supposed to use proper etiquette and wipe down the machines and everything, but it seems like you mentioned spots that we would never think to wipe down. Yeah, so y they talk about wiping it down at the end, but it's actually better to wipe it down before and after. You just never know uh, the person in front of you, did they do a thorough job wiping it down? And you want to protect yourself. Without a doubt. So what are some other tips that people can keep in mind who really want to stay healthy? The, some of the good points is where you don't have to touch with your hand, use your elbows, use the outside of your hand. The inside of our hands, we tend to eat with those, we tend to lick our fingers. Those areas uh, are the, the biggest for transporting diseases. So in, you know, washing your hands on a consistent basis, uh, but using a paper towel to open up a door, using uh, toilet paper to wipe down the toilet seat or whatever before you use in the restrooms. Okay, so let's talk about what you do, how you get into gyms uh, across Tampa Bay and make them cleaner and less germier. Absolutely, so what we do in our company is we have uh, a chemical called Sandy Spritz. Uh, Sandy Spritz is, uh, um, came about uh, during the uh, Chicago hair SARS outbreak uh -huh. and it kills all known diseases. So we use that chemical to wipe down all common touch points, all surfaces where people uh, are going to touch. Um, that chemical helps kill the disease as well as prevent um, from future uh, occurrences. So this is something that I, I'm sure people have always thought about because a lot of those tips of using something to open the door, you know, if you're a germ phobe like myself, that's just common of what I do. But during the pandemic, people started to really get scared. And I think they have expectations that the gym they go to are going to hire somebody like Stratus to come in and get the job done. Absolutely. Uh, you know, a big recommendation is, uh, you know, ask your gym, do they use a commercial company? Uh, to do the uh, cleaning. How often is that cleaning done? Uh, if the gym's open, it should be done every day. Uh, you know, as patrons of the gym, we're going to go and we're going to do our best to clean up after us, but you want a company to come in and, and sanitize all the equipment professionally every day to ensure the safety of its patrons. Yeah, because that's how you're going to keep a gym healthy, clean, and that way the folks are going to want to show up every day to work out. And you're right, it's a good question to ask before you sign up. Absolutely. All right, well, I certainly want to thank you for joining us on Bloom today. It's been such a pleasure catching up with you. All right, absolutely. Thank you <laughs> so right. much. Thanks, Matthew. And for more information on Stratus Building Solutions, visit stratusclean.com online or pick up the phone right now and call 813-533-5477. We'll be back with more Bloom right after this. The preceding